Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk about um, some patent controllers. This time I'm going to talk about Personal Audio LLC, which is a company that started back in 1996 for the sole purpose of enforcing two podcasting patents. Um, the company also earned licensing revenues from five other patents. Now, one of the claims filed in Personal Audio's patent includes an audio program and message distribution system in which a host system organizes and transmits program segments to client subscriber locations. This is just basically explaining a podcast. So now, these patent trolls have been suing companies like Apple, Samsung, SanDisk, and more for the last decade for infringing on their podcasting patent. The issue really hit media back in 2013 when Personal Audio started demanding licensing fees from podcasters, including the comedian Adam Car uh, Carolla and two television networks. The big problem with Personal Audio is that they don't actually do podcasting. Instead, they use their patent to claim infringement and collect payouts. <laughs> Who would have thought? So finally, this past Friday on April 10th in 2015, the USPTO invalidated personal audio's claims used to threaten podcasters in a petition for review from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF. Now, EFF was able to show that personal audio didn't actually invent anything new before it, had, it filed its patent and proved that prior art existed in which People have been podcasting for years previously, so yay for crushing patent trolls. Thanks.